So hello, my name is Johan Falk, and we're looking at how to use Google Spreadsheets and scripting in Google Spreadsheets to do stuff that can be useful while creating board games, simulating stuff in board games, and perhaps otherwise. Um, in this video, we're going to see how to use arguments in functions, which is a pretty cool thing and really, really useful. So I was going to call this function roll three dice before, but I changed my mind and call it now call it roll some dice. And I'm going to add a variable here in the parenthesis. These parentheses are used to allow functions to take arguments, that's some kind of input values. Uh, let's say number of dice. So when we call this function, we could pass a, a value here for uh, that's now being called number of dice. And then instead of saying stop when we reached uh, three uh, dice or three, oh yeah, three rolls, we stop when we reached number of dice rolls. So if I now try to uh, run this function, it rolls on die, we will have zero, I guess, um, uh, die is rolled. And let's actually do this from the spreadsheet. And now it says reference does not exist. Very strange. Very strange. But let's change this to three dice. Wham. Let's change this to five dice. Wham. So we call this function with a value and this pass here and assign to the, I will call this variable name of number of dice. This is used inside this uh, short code snippet to create this loop and uh, repeat it a number of times and then return the results. And um, we could, you saw that we had some problems here when we didn't have any uh, input value says something is wrong it returns something empty here i guess the results are empty so let's add a statement here uh, let's yeah let's do that if number of dice i'm gonna actually um, is less than one let's say like this i'm gonna use curly brackets and then I'm going to say number of dice equals one. So if someone enters less than one, go for one. Save. And now this one should you will draw some zero. And now if I remove this one, it should also work. No, it doesn't. Okay. So if I <laughs> What happens now is that thing being inserted here into this variable is undefined or empty or null or false or something. I'm going to change this. I'm going to add a new statement here. If number of dice is less than one or, or is written like this in JavaScript, two vertical pipes, you get that, well, you have to find it on your keyboard because I have a switch keyboard. I could tell you how I find it, but it won't, you won't find it very useful. Or exclamation mark number of dice exclamation mark means not so if number of dice is empty or false or null or something undefined this will be true if number of dice is wrong or false or something then not number of dice will be true either number of dice is less than one or there is something weird with number of dice then set number of dice equal to one. Save. Let's see if this works now. Yes. Roll some die without any argument gives us one die. Nice. Okay, so that's it for, for this, um, uh, this video. Uh, let's actually recap what happened here. We used arguments. Instead of just having a function without taking any input value, like these two functions, we, I now added an input value here saying, uh, calling this input value number of dice. I used this in the loop to have it uh, respond dynamically to the uh, stuff you in, insert 
into this function. And then I also uh, added some kind of condition checking if this uh, is this valid in some way. I could still make this break if I roll some die 100. Misspelled even 100. Uh, and that breaks. We could have checks for that as well, but let's not do that in this video. We're going to focus on some more fun stuff. And we will do that in the next video. See you there. Bye.